I'm going to bring Sister Evelyn to the pulpit to preach to you or whatever she wants to do, whatever the Lord leads her to do. But I want to say this in introduction to what you're about to experience. You ought to be thanking God that you have a church to go to where the Word of God is going to be preached. Not conjecture, not somebody's opinion, not somebody's new age philosophy, but the Word of God that is forever settled in heaven is about to be opened up in this house and preached in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Jesus said heaven and earth are going to pass away but my word will never pass away thank God for his word today hallelujah and I am honored today to bring a woman of the word of God before you to preach what God has laid upon her heart come on sister Evelyn thank you pastor my, 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 my. The Holy Ghost is in this place. I leaned over to Dennis and I said, He's preaching my message. Isn't that the way the Lord moves? Because you see, God is here to tell us something. He didn't just let us come so we could... Ooh, just have a shouting good time. That's good. But he has something for you special. Amen. Amen. Now, I've told you before and you've heard me, you've heard me say this. That God is moving in this place. By the power and the anointing of his spirit. And the devil don't like it. Why do you think that there's so many sick people? The devil said, I know what I'll do. I'll just put sickness on these people and they can't even go to church. <laughs> but there's some of you that's here anyway. And the word that the Lord has given to me to give to you is this. We're going to get a second opinion. And then we're going to walk on. How many is determined this or today that you're going to walk on? Now, I know that there, is, there are those under the sound of my voice, whether it be online or whether it be here, that you have had a report. That you don't, it's been troubling you. It's been bothering you. But you know what? Say what? God brought you here today to give you a second opinion. Oh, the devil would like for you to believe the negative report. But today we've got a positive report. Right straight from the word of God. Can you say amen? Second Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7 says this. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Now when the enemy comes and he gives you a negative report. Whose report will you believe? Come on now. Because I know the one 
that says there's nothing impossible with me. Right. Right. Ooh, God is in this place. Yes. God brought you here to let you know you've got a second opinion. Now, now when Nancy came home and she found J.J. laying on the floor, honey, that was not good. She didn't, she didn't jump up and down and say, ooh, hallelujah. No. She became troubled. And J.J. ended up in the hospital. And when we went up there to see her, she didn't look good. Oh, my Lord, she did not look good. And the doctor had given her a report that was not good. But I believe that day, I know when I laid my hands on you, I felt the anointing. The Lord was there, right by your bed. So, J.J. and Nancy, they, they said, I'm going to get a second opinion. <laughs> so, what did they do? They, 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 they went to the Lord that knows all about all things. Here she is laying. Oh, oh, and Wednesday night. I came to church and I saw Nancy. So I go up to Nancy. Oh, I'm glad to see you. God bless you, sister. Blah, blah, blah. And then and then I said, how is JJ? See, I thought she's st she's still in the hospital, I, I, you know. And Nancy said, "Well, she's right back there. Go ask her." <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah! I said, "She's she's here." Thank you, Lord. God has a second opinion for you. He says, you will not die, but you'll live. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so when they got their second opinion, here they are, today giving God the glory. Hallelujah. And they made up their mind. They're going to walk on. There's somebody here today that the opinion that you've had that has been troubling you and bothering you. But God says, I have a miracle for you. You know, <laughs> I went to my six months checkup, and the doctor said. Your blood is clear. The lymphoma, there's no lymphoma. And yet, and yet the devil says, it'll come back. Has he ever told you that? Yeah. Now, and, and you know, whenever she said that, and I'm praising God, glory. And then we get in the car. And we have, we have a new CD that we've been 
by the Perrys. And lo and behold, I thought I was going to come out of that car. Because the CD that came on, the Perrys was singing, I've got a second opinion. I, go, oh, 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 oh. I thought I was going to be raptured. Yes, I believe in the rapture. Amen. Whose report are you going to believe today? I think we ought to believe the second report that Jesus said, my, my stripes, you are healed. Woo! Glory to God. By my stripes. Oh. Woo! I want to tell you about a woman. In Mark chapter 5. Starting with verse 25. Oh, Brother Bob, you came to hear me preach today. Honey, I hope you're not sorry. <laughs> Woo! Verse 25, it says, And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood, how long she had it? Twelve years. Honey, that's a long time. She must have been a mighty weak person. Physically. But look at verse 26. And had suffered many things of many physicians. Honey, she went to doctor after doctor after doctor. And she spent all that she had. Her money was gone. How she, how's she going to go to another doctor? He gave you a miracle, didn't he, honey? Yes, he did. When the glory to God. But she spent all that she had and was nothing bettered. In other words, she grew worse. She grew worse. But you know what? Mother Morgan, she said, I'm going to get a second opinion. Amen. She said, she heard about Jesus. And lo and behold, here he is. Ha. She heard of the miracles that he could do. Well, bless God, I'm going to get an opinion for the one that knows all about my disease, my illness, my weakness. And in verse 27, she said, when she had heard of who? Jesus. She came in the press behind him and she touched his garment. Oh, she just said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. And she touched the hem of his garment. And that little lady that had spent everything she had, that was growing worse from going from doctor to doctor to doctor, was healed. Because she said, I'm going to go to the man that knows. And that's Jesus. And if I can just touch the hem of his garment I'll be made whole and she walked away that day made whole because she touched Jesus now I'm telling you what does it the enemy tries to get our minds troubled by the report that we've had oh 
my Lord, I remember years ago when they told me, Pastor, that I had leukemia. Oh, I called Pastor. We, were, uh, we lived in Houston, Texas, and I called, I called him. And, and I said, but they want to give me, they want to give me chemo. Well, he encouraged me. Go ahead. And I go, yeah, but wouldn't that be a lack of faith? He said, no. God has many ways of bringing healing. So I had, I had about three Let me tell you, God is a miracle worker. But I remember how I felt in my mind. Oh, Jesus, I'm going to die. Honey, I don't know how many years ago that's been, and I'm still going. Woo! Hallelujah. Because I said, I'm going to get a second opinion. Bless God. I know God can heal me. Lordy mercy. When I was a young kid, I had polio and he healed me. I did not know even what was wrong with me. I was so sick, burning up with fever, throwing up. I was burning up. And then, I, you know, people prayed for me. I got better and, and uh, went to the doctor. He took some tests. He said, you had polio. You had. I didn't have it now. Because the Lord healed me. But you know what? That doctor, he knew that we were be believers. And he just patted me on the shoulder like, oh, I know. <laughs> he knew. And everybody that had been around me had to come in and get tests. Nobody tested. Uh-uh. You know? If God can heal cancer, he can heal somebody that, I had no idea. Polio, duh. Never entered my mind. I just knew I was sick. But you know what? It pays to know the man. It pays to know the healer of all diseases. For we walk by faith, yes. not by sight, yes. not by the way we feel. Right. Right. Oh, Lord. Some people, if they don't feel just right, well, I think I'll just stay home from church tonight. Yeah. You know, I know, there, I know there's times that people, they're just not able to get up and go, I understand that. And God knows all about it. But some folks, if they get an owie in their little finger, they're going to stay home. You know what I'm talking about? But God wants us to take faith and walk on. Not walk in fear. Not let our minds be tormented by the powers of the devil. But arise and claim victory. Huh. You're at the right place to get a second opinion. Because the man that knows all about you is right here. What is his name? Jesus. Yes. His name is Jesus. Amen. So there was a man. First of all, let me finish this story about the woman with the blood issue. And Jesus said unto her in verse 34, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. In other words, go in peace, you're healed. Come on. If it had been me, I don't know. I don't know how she walked in 
you know, turned around. But if it had been me, I'd have been running and shouting, and screaming and hollering. You know what I mean? You do know what I mean. But if you want peace, you've got to trust in the Prince of Peace. Can you say amen? Amen. Amen. Now, there was a man with a sick daughter. And he went to Jesus to ask Jesus to come pray for her. And and somebody came and said to him, Don't bother the master because your daughter's dead. Well, duh. He said, bless God, I'm going to get a second opinion on this. And when you read on, you find how that Jesus said, you come to the right place. Because I'm going to give you an opinion. He said, come on, let's go to your house. Where's your daughter? Oh, she, and, and when they walked up to the house, there were people standing there crying. <laughs> the little girl was dead. She's only 12 years old. But Jesus went in. This is the second opinion. Jesus walked over. He took her by the hand. And he said, come on, get up. Well, now, she was supposed to be dead. But Jesus said, get up. And that little girl, she rose and began to walk. Now, don't you know that place was turned upside down? (laughs) See? Get that second opinion. Don't be troubled in your mind and your spirit. No matter what the devil says. He's a liar. How many know the devil is a liar and he's the father of all lies? Now, let's look at Lazarus. Oh, Lazarus. Oh, my. They pronounced him dead. They put him in a tomb. People are standing around there booing and crying. And here comes Mary. And she sees Jesus. Oh, Lord, if you had been here, he wouldn't have died. But Mary said, I think I'm going to have a second opinion. They have pronounced him dead. But, but Jesus, what do you say? What is your opinion, Lord? And Jesus said, roll the stone away. They said, but Lord, he's been in there four days. He's going to stink, stink, stink. Jesus Jesus said, roll that stone away. This is my opinion. You say he's dead? But I have a different opinion. They roll the stone away. And here comes Lazarus. Boom. Boom. Because see, he was all tied up. So he couldn't just walk. He just hopped. Hopped. Here he comes. But you know what? He didn't stay bound very long. Because the man with the second opinion was standing there. And he said, loose him and let him go. (laughs) 
there is people under the sound of my voice today. Jesus is saying to you, listen to me, listen to me. He says, let not your heart be troubled. He said, there's victory for you. There's victory for you. Amen. The way that God has been moving in your lives and has anointed you. The enemy would like to torment you, but in the name of Jesus, we bind every lying, tormenting spirit of the devil. And we say be free in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Receive your freedom right now. Right now. Because God has given you a second opinion today. You're free. You're not bound. You're free in the name of Jesus. How many believes that? Hallelujah. Celeste, the enemy has been tormenting your mind. How do you know? I just feel it in my spirit. And you've been kind of on the verge of buying into it. But I want you to know today, honey, that the devil is a liar. And I told you the other night that God is raising you up to use you and the devil doesn't like it. But we're going to believe the report of victory today. Come here, sweetheart. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Every lying, tormenting spirit that has been tormenting your mind, we bind it right now in the name of Jesus. And I say, Celeste, be free. In Jesus' name, receive your freedom right now. Don't buy into it, honey. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My brother, I don't, you know what, I don't, I don't know who you are. I don't know. What is your name? Glenn. Glenn. We're so glad to have you today. But I feel that the enemy has been tormenting you. He's been tormenting your mind. And God says, you are free. You will not receive after today another lie from the enemy because today God is giving you another opinion in the name of Jesus I speak deliverance over my brother and I say be free in Jesus name be free in the name of Jesus We thank you, Lord. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Tim, come here, honey. Everything is going to be all right. In the name.
name of Jesus. Receive your freedom. Receive your victory. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Be free. Hallelujah. Now that the Lord has given you a second opinion, what are you going to do? You're going to walk on. You're not going to sit and think about the negative opinion that you've had and say, woe is me. But you're going to rise in victory and in the name of Jesus. And you're going to walk on. You're going to walk on. Because there's victory ahead for you. You believe it? If you believe it, say amen. Thank you. God bless you. Jesus, the sweetest name I know. Come on, stand up with me. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. I'll tell it wherever I go. He heals the sin sick soul. Makes the wounded whole.
upon your name. There's power, there's power in his name. In the midnight Hallelujah. There's power, there's power in his name. Oh, there is such love. There's love. it from your mouth that there's power hallelujah in the name of Jesus somebody just go ahead and say it there's power there's power there's power in the name of Jesus hallelujah demons have to flee hallelujah Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. 